Let's meet our next outstanding act. Transforming things from chaos to perfect order, that's something I'm naturally good at. I'm an expert in cybersecurity for a major Norwegian company. Cybercriminals use a lot of the same techniques as magicians. Cybercriminals and magicians both use psychology to get you to do what they want. Misdirection, concealment, psychological techniques. We are both masters of manipulation. And while I fight those techniques at work, I use those same techniques when I perform. Penn & Teller, I'm not here to scam you, but I do intend to trick you into giving me a Fulos trophy. Joined by Penn & Teller, please welcome the coin magic of Rune Carlson. Thank you so much. Now, being a magician requires different things. Practice, perfectionism, but also the creativity to invent new magic, right? And today I'm gonna to share with you some magic that I've been perfecting for almost 10 years. I kept it secret until now. And I keep it inside this old chest. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's it. So. <laughs> no, no, no. Inside this chest, I have this uh, small uh, box. And inside this box, that's where I keep my uh, pills. So I have a red one for my heart condition. There is a green one for my back. And then I have <coughs> the blue one. And we all know about the blue one, don't we, Pam? <laughs> but this, this is not about the pills. This is, in fact, all about the box. Now, look at the box. It's so beautiful. It's stylish, polished, elegant and empty, but yet so full of surprises. Now, in Norway, we have a saying. Ingenting er som det ser ut til. It means something like, nothing is as it seems. Watch. Did you hear that? And that's, that's a silver coin. Oh. Thank you so much. Now, <laughs> yeah. um, remember, whatever, whatever it looks like, on the back, the top, or even feels like on the inside. Yes, you can feel, feel inside. There's nothing to see, there's nothing to feel. Because there is nothing. But nothing is as it seems. Watch. And that's... Well, that's a silver coin. Thank you so much. Now, they say, they say that we should never ever repeat a magic trick, right? Why not? I mean, something is just too good to be true. Watch. Nothing is, as it seems. Did you hear that? And that's, that's a silver coin. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I want to look at that lid on the box. Sure, Penn, could you check the lid? Could you check the box teller? Make sure it's a normal lid on the box. Does it look okay? Yeah? Yeah. Hopefully it does. Does the box look okay? Yeah, because it is. I mean, this is just a piece of metal. But nothing is as it seems. Teller, could you hold your hand like this even further? All the way. Perfect. <laughs> well, that's, that's the box and that's the lid. Pen, with your uh, right index finger, could you touch, uh, touch the uh, lid and push the lid to close the box? Oh, Lord. You okay? Yeah. yeah. Now, listen. Shh. 
Did you hear that? And that's, you'll be okay. <laughs> and, that, and that's, that's a silver coin right there. Four silver coins and one silver box. Now, I know what you're thinking, you're thinking how? How can four silver coins fit into such a small box, right? Well, that's the wrong question. Because this box was never intended for the coins. It was intended for something completely else. Do you remember? It was intended for the pills. There is a red pill for my heart, a green pill for my back, and then we all know about the blue pill. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you, Pam. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tara. Rune Thank Carlson, you. everyone. So I have to ask you, because I understand you have a very interesting profession. How can I protect myself from cyber criminals? Wow, that's a big question. If you think about this as when you're online, you're always unsafe because the cyber criminals will always be there. So uh, be careful, take care of your passwords and make sure that everyone in your family understands cyber uh, security, also your kids. Do you think that Penn and Teller are familiar with your techniques in coin magic? Well, the concept of the trick is almost 120 years old. So I know they know about the concept, okay. but then I have kind of turned it upside down. So what they saw now, they haven't seen before, that's for sure, but they might figure it out anyway. They are, they are smart guys, so yeah. Groon? Yeah. Let's find out if Penn and Teller know your coin magic secrets. Boys? Oh, Groon. You told, uh, you told more of the truth in this routine than, uh, than magicians usually do. It, uh, it certainly took you 10 years to develop this. That's just a beautiful thing. It's based on the Aikido coin box, but you've taken it to just a whole different level. There's just so much you added to that. And it's also nice because it was so true to the original because the Aikido coin box was, of course, a pill box. You know all this. I'm saying it for the audience. It's just beautiful, beautiful what you did with it. And uh, you also had the guts to bring us up there. If you'd left us back here, there's stuff we, uh, we would not have seen. We were up there just uh, breathing on the back of your hands, as it were. Uh, it was uh, really a wonderful routine. The other thing you said that was true was that everything is uh, not as it seems. Uh, and um, that's the real genius of this. The craftsmanship, the work, the handling was just perfect all the way through. I absolutely loved it, and uh, I will say that there is no doubt, 100% righteous, you fooled me. You fooled me completely. But, <laughs> the name of the show is Fool Us. And I sat down there and said, I have no idea, Teller. And then Teller just sketched things and told me things and explained it. So you did fool me. You did not fool Teller. So. I'm very sorry to say, as much as I love this act, you did not fool us. Uh, Thank does you. Does that mean he gets half of a trophy? Oh, did that make sense? Oh my goodness, well you were wonderful. We enjoyed that so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.